Hello, friends. It's Gary Hines again with another edition of Meet the Team. This episode uh, featuring uh, some people from New York City, Gary and Mary Fishman, and they have a ministry called Surpassing Glory Ministries, and it's great to have you with us today. It's great to be here. So, uh, listen, uh, explain to the folk about how you came in contact with FCM. Um, through Margie Florent. Um, I was speaking to her and I was, because I was looking for covering, I was looking for a place to connect to, and she directed me to FCM. Well, awesome. You know, so many of, of the people uh, that are connected with FCM, uh, at the beginning, of course, it was largely because of Jim and Sylvia, but over the years, we've discovered that connections and contacts with other people a part of FCM is what drew people into FCM and so we're glad that you had that relationship with Margie and uh, that you're a part of uh, the family as they say in your area the family so <laughs> we're glad that you're here uh, tell us a little bit about surpassing glory and the launch Okay, well, the two separate ministries, Surpassing Glory is more related to the prophetic and dream interpretation. So people can come on and get their dreams interpreted, or if they wanted to receive prophetic ministry, or they could buy one of my books. So that's Surpassing Glory. The launch is a ministry that has to do more with equipping and training. And we call it the launch because the purpose is, is to prepare people to launch them out into ministry and not just to prepare them, but to stand with them and even give them a platform. Because sometimes it's not enough just to teach people, but sometimes we have to stand with them and walk them through the process. Amen. That's great. That's great. And, and Mary, you've got a ministry to women. What, what? Tell the folks a little bit about that. Well, I have a ministry called Women Need Women because we do need each other. Praise God. And um, I also have um, a calling not only for just abuse women or helping women, but more for imaging uh, because of the media and everything, a, a woman's perception of herself. You know, the Lord put it in my heart that I would minister to women uh, about seven years ago. And uh, it came to pass, praise God, and this ministry enhances the gifts and callings of women. As the Lord directs me, I'm, I'm totally encouraging them. I bring teachings once a month for them and uh, different capacities because we are living in a time where women are so challenged. Amen. That, that's incredible. That's a great, great ministry. And, you know, so many times, uh, any of us that have been in ministry for more than a, a couple of years, uh, I've often said this, that one of the most neglected people in any congregation is the pastor's wife. And uh, if it wasn't for women, most Pentecostal groups and denominations wouldn't have even lasted as long as they did. But thank God for women who had people such as yourself, Mary, would encourage them and come alongside of them. That's awesome. That's just thank great. You. Thank you. Uh, Gary, you've got a, 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 a weekly Zoom uh, that you do um, uh, where people can come in on, I believe it's Monday evening uh, on, a, on a weekly basis. Is that a Zoom invite, or how does that go? Right, we have several. Monday night, I have, um, we have something called the Dreams Network, where people can actually come. It's actually on Facebook, and people can come and get their dreams interpreted. There's a phone number. They would just go to the Dreams Network Facebook page, and it has all the information on there, and people can either call in or they can put you know, go on Facebook and type their dreams in the chat. And we have a team of people interpreting dreams live. Also on Thursday um, on Zoom and Facebook, we have a time of prayer and prophetic ministry, believing for the miraculous. We started all throughout the pandemic 
because in the beginning there was no way to lay hands on people or to but we wanted to reach the sick so we did it through zoom and facebook and we've continued it every thursday and then every saturday morning we have different people coming and teaching and ministering that's that's awesome i you gary you've written a a, a number of books but one that uh, i'm really fascinated by is one that's entitled The Fugitive Prophet. And uh, explain to the folks a little bit about that book. I understand what it's about, but I want you to explain it. Well, the book is about Harriet Tubman from the Underground Railroad, who helped to free uh, a whole number of slaves um, back in the 1800s. But everything that she did, she did it through um, receiving revelation through dreams and visions. So she already knew who to trust because she had already had a, had a vision or a dream with the person in it. She got saved out of many different situations because God would prophetically give her strategies. And, and not only was her prophetic gifts, but her character with all the horrid things that happened to her. She walked in total forgiveness and never became bitter. And that became, that really was a key for her to really be able to operate. You know, when you walk in that kind of forgiveness, it really brings freedom to fulfill your destiny. So the great thing about her to me is that her, she didn't use her prophetic gifts just to come go from church to church and prophesy over people. But she went out into the culture. She transformed, the, uh, she helped to transform a nation using the prophetic gifts and, and the power of the Holy Spirit. E even in um, the Civil War, when people were getting fevers, she would lay hands on them and they'd get healed. So to me, that's really where the power of God belongs, out in the streets, out into the highways, the byways, not just to prophesy to over people in the church. You know, that, that's fascinating. And I remember watching just a, a while back, it was a series of, uh, on, on a TV program on one of the major networks about the life of Harriet Tubman. And uh, they did, I believe, a, a decent job of showing a lot of the things that she obviously needed honor and uh, understanding by the general public. But uh, they did even give a little bit of recognition to the prophetic. Uh, uh, they didn't call it that, uh, but uh, at least they recognized that. Uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you, being involved in the prophetic ministry and in dreams and interpretation. Uh, you know, because we, we look back through the Bible and we see people like Daniel and Joseph in particular, even uh, the, the earthly father of Jesus, Joseph, uh, operated by dreams and, and understanding of those dreams. Uh, what do you see, both of you, what do you see prophetically as, as to where maybe you sense the nation is going and how we, what we need to do in response to where it appears to be going? Well, in the natural, the nation is totally falling apart. You know, it's reaping what it's sowing with all the, with all the abortion and all the sin and the perversion. But I'm believing for a mighty move of God. That's what I see. I'm believing that the best days for this nation is still ahead of it. That all the work and all the service and all the seeds weren't for nothing. I don't believe that everything, this is the end. We might as well give up. The Antichrist is coming. The Bible, Jesus said to the increase of of the well it says in isaiah to the increase of jesus's government there will be no end so mm -hmm. i'm believing the power of god the government of god is going to invade all the wickedness in the nation and i'm i'm believing for great change and great harvest that's really what i keep seeing Amen. mary i believe you see that in in working with the women as well uh what do you see how are you helping women in this season? 
I feel like because of what we're going through, God's raising uh, God's children and God's women to be the mighty women that God called them to do without having any restriction and reservation. I think this is a time where we humble ourselves and pray like never before. And God is raising daughters and sons for his glory. Praise God to go forth and proclaim. And I think this country still exists in a positive way because of our prayers, because we're standing firm against the enemy and saying, no, uh, we're going to stand for what we believe. Uh, no matter what happens, we're standing and going forth in Jesus' name to all nations, proclaim, proclaiming the goodness of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Well, you know, that's the mandate that all of us, whether we have a title on the front or the backside of our name, uh, that's the mandate as uh, sons and daughters of the Most High God. So praise the Lord. Gary, what I'd like to ask you to do, and, and Mary as well, uh, would you just pray for uh, FCM, and but just pray generally, and uh, I, I believe that the Lord just wants to uh, speak to you or speak through you to us, and uh, so would you just uh, wrap our time up together, please? Okay, so I'm going to ask Mary to pray first. Okay. Father, we thank you, Lord, Father. We thank you for this ministry, Father, that we're praying for today, and we uplift every minister here, God, Father, they're doing the best job they can ever do. And Father, that's all you ask us to do. And Father, that we have a humble heart. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we go to your throne of grace to obtain all the favor. All the favor comes from you to obtain favor and help at the time of every need. And our nation is in need. And I thank you all our ministries are in need, but we're looking to you, the author and finisher of our faith. Father, I thank a hedge of protection around every ministry, around mm -hmm. every church, Father. Father, our families, Father, our children, God. Father, put a hedge around this nation and, and our ministries and our families, Father. We thank you for all the pastors, Father, that have a mighty work to do, Father. Keep them safe, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, that they have built in strategies against the enemy and a prayer life, Father, that is not of compromise. And Father, I thank you for this hedge of protection in the mighty name of Jesus that will go forth in your name, building more and more of your kingdom in Jesus' name. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God. I pray over FCM. I pray increase. I pray a multiplication anointing in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for new waves of your spirit, Lord God, that would break through, Lord God, everything of discouragement, Lord God, and weariness. Yes. I thank you that the greatest days, Lord God, for FCM are still ahead of it, Lord God, days of glory, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that FCM will not only build the church, but will expand the kingdom of God in, in, into the communities, through the nations, in the political realm, and entertainment, that FCM will begin to impact the very culture around it. I thank you, Lord God, that FCM stands strong today, Lord God, will not be moved. Whatever happens in this world, I thank you that there will be no fear, Lord God, but I thank you for the mandate to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, to cast out demons. We thank you, Lord God, for great and mighty works in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I just lift up Gary and Mary, and I thank you, Father, for the light that they emanate in one of the most needy metropolitan areas uh, of our nation in the New York City, Bronx area. And so, Lord, I pray for, uh, again, for favor for them. I pray for doors that'll open that no man can close and only you, God, can open them up. And so, Lord, we speak your blessing, your favor, and your grace, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Uh, amen. Listen, I just want to encourage you at the end of this broadcast or at the end of the uh, tape, we're going to have some contact information on how you can uh, connect with Gary and Mary. And uh, I would encourage you to consider. Uh, getting a couple of those books, 
and uh, that'll be a blessing to you. I, I Gary, I want to get that book on uh, the what was it? The title of it, the the uh, the fugitive prophet, and uh, about Harriet. Uh, just uh, just a great thing. And Gary's got some books on dream interpretation, and uh, we just we're honored. Thank you so much for being with us today. And uh, friends, I just want to remind you with FCM and especially for Gary and Mary, uh, y'all are loved and there's absolutely nothing that you can do about it. So God bless you until the next time. Be my family.